Yeah. What's poppin' T Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I am here with tonight's All T All Shade Basketball Wise Season 10, Episode 10 Review. So we had double episodes on Monday night, which I was not expecting, but I rolled with it. I apologize ahead of time if you hear barking or um, howling in the background. My neighbors up above have a dog that will not shut the hell up. So forgive me for any background noise. Now let's get into tonight's episode or last night's episode. So we start off the episode with Jen visiting the famous beautician Elgin Charles at his Beverly Hills beauty salon. He has been in the business for over 20 years doing all of your favorite black actresses hair. He was married to Jack A. Harris. Remember he had a reality show back in the 2000s. Elgin is a mess, honey. And so Jen goes to him to show her her new hairline called Redefine. You know, she's selling bundles now, honey. And uh, Brooke comes to, you know, just spend time with her, show her support. And Jen lets Brooke know that Jelani will be at the party and that she's really happy she met him. And I was like, bitch, you better be because Jelani fine ass is bae, honey. And if you don't want him, we will snatch him. So Angel talks on the phone to her sister about being nervous about having the baby. She's just afraid that something might happen during the C-section and that she's been getting iron infusions every 48 hours because her iron levels are beyond low. And, you know, it was just nice seeing her have a sweet conversation with her sister. So Jackie has decided to get back into acting like she's dead serious about this. She's taking headshots. She want to be the next cat woman child. Jackie is funny as hell. She recently um, just got a role in this Christmas movie and she just back out here doing it. And Jackie is just funny to me. So whatever makes Jackie happy makes me happy at this point. So then we see Brandy telling Duffy that she and Malaysia really aren't that good. Like their conversation when they met up was cool, but she still don't trust her. And she feels like that Malaysia still hasn't really taken accountability for the things that she's done. Cause she always trying to act like she don't know what she did and this, that, and the third. And like I said, I just don't know at this point where Brandy wants from Malaysia. And if I was Malaysia after this, I wouldn't even care at this point because, like, girl, I have genuinely tried. And I really honestly do feel like Malaysia came into this really being genuine with wanting to rebuild their friendship. And Brandy just still wants to hold on to the past. And it's just like, girl, let it go. Please channel Elsa and let it go. So then Malaysia meets up with her new friend named Ashley. Now, I don't know if this girl was really her friend or did the producers tell her to act like this girl is her friend? Because, you know, that's what they tend to do on the housewives when they introduce a new housewife. They act like these uh, the, the new housewife and one of the old housewives are cool and they aren't really cool at all. Don't even know each other. So I'm wondering, it was that the case with this Ashley girl? Um, she says that, she, you know, she's a new friend and they, they've been kicking it and... Um, I'm knowing at this point, yeah, this girl is about to come on the show and cause some drama and this is about to be some mess. We then go to Jen visiting Angel at her store because she's having Angel design her outfit for her hair, um, bundles redefine launch party child don't give me the line <laughs> and I was just shocked that Jen was going to allow Angel to do her outfit you know because I love Angel but you know it could be real hit or miss with her but I can say her costumes and stuff that she designs for like Cardi and Megan Thee Stallion and stuff are really really good really good because they're stage wear and I think that's where she shines the most when she does like costumes and stuff like that. So it's the day of Jen's party and I must say I liked what Angel produced for her. It looked really cute. It was giving me like <sighs> Pretty girl Liberace 
<laughs> that's what it was giving me very much and jen has this very long ponytail it's 80 inches and she got a man walking behind her holding it because it cannot touch the ground honey and i was like you better you better honey jelani is there honey and you know he's there to support bay and Jen is still acting hella shy around him. And I'm like, girl, if you don't lay that pussy on that man and stop acting like you scared, girl, I'll be all over him. He, he'll he get sick of me. <laughs> you gonna get sick of me. But let's go back to the scene where Duffy and Brandy got together and were talking. I have to go back to this scene because this unit that Duffy had on was fire. Whoever did this wig for her, Keep on letting them do your wigs because this rainbow wig was a life. It was stunning. Loved it. Now back to the party. Everybody's pretty much in chill mode, having a good time. Duffy arrives in this houndstooth Oompa Loompa dress. I don't know where in the fuck she was going. She looked like one of the uh, lollipop gills from the Wizard of Oz. It, it just was doing too much for me, especially when she sat down because it made her look so big and she's not a fat girl at all. Um, then we see Malaysia arrive with Ashley. And um, when Angel arrives... Ashley gives Angel this weird look. It was like a mix of like, oh my God, I can't believe she's here. Oh my God, I don't really like this bitch. It was, it was a mixture of things. And so then Angel and Malaysia are by the bar and Malaysia was, you know, talking to her and she was like, um, do you know Angel? And she was like, yeah, I know of her. I don't know her personally. And she was like, well, how you know her if you don't? you know know her personally she was like i know her because of her her um boyfriend her baby daddy or whatever and so that's when she goes on to let malaysia know that she used to date angel's baby daddy tyreek now i don't know if this is the baby daddy who offed himself or what but she used to date the man child that's all i know so malaysia is caught off guard by this like oh my god i did not know this and she's like, you know, well, let's just act like, you know, that didn't happen. <laughs> Hopefully it don't get brought up. Let's just not talk about it. Now, you guys let me know down in the comment section. Do you think that Malaysia knew beforehand or do you think that she was genuinely surprised and did not know? I think that she was genuinely surprised. I don't think that she knew and that she was coming to play dirty. I just don't. I was looking at her facial expressions, looking at her mannerisms throughout this entire and the rest of the uh, episode. And it was very much giving me she did not know. She didn't know. Um, and Malaysia's not that good of an actress to me to be able to like really sell it if she knew and try to pretend like she didn't. Um, but I'm just like, oh God, this is just so silly. So the Ashley girl goes on to tell Malaysia she ain't got nothing against Angel and then hopefully Angel ain't got nothing against her. So uh, then we see Duffy sitting down talking to Angel and she was like, you know, what you think about the new girl? And she was like, I mean, she cool. I know of her or whatever. I don't know her personally, but I know of her. And so Duffy looking like, well, what's that about? Because, you know, Angel is looking everywhere else but Duffy when she's answering this question and you can tell like there's some tea there that she's trying to avoid talking about and I found it to be weird especially when we found out the tea later on in this episode I didn't understand why Angel was even acting the way she was acting so um Malaysia and Ashley then come over and sit with the rest of the girls and then Duffy kicks shit off by saying you know it's some new people in the group and I just want to know more about you and I'm like Duffy please like Duffy is really getting on my nerves being messy um starting shit with folks being rude like what was that for like if you wanted to know you should have asked fucking angel you don't even know this girl like i just felt like she was doing team too much and i'm looking at her like you the same bitch that kept on getting punked by tammy and you sitting here like you the ring leader of the show i just don't like it i just don't like it i don't like it at all duffy really irks my soul so like i said duffy has singled out this girl in front of everybody and um ashley angel i'm sorry 
says to Malaysia, so this your friend? And she was like, you know, yeah, like, we cool or whatever. And so she was like, Angel was like, huh, okay. With an attitude. And I'm like, what is going on here? So Ashley then cuts in and was like, you know what? Let me just tell y'all who I am because I see where this is about to go. Um, I don't know Angel personally. I know of her. I used to um, date her baby daddy. So everybody is just like, oh, shit, here we go. Especially British. So Angel in her confessional was like, um, you know, the girls have done this to me before and they show a flashback to, um, Angel's first season on the show where Jackie had the girl that was sleeping with her baby daddy, um, at the time come on the show and tell her that I forgot all about it. Wouldn't even remembered it if they hadn't brought it up. So I can understand from that X point aspect, I'm sorry, that Ma uh, Malaysia child these all these goddamn names y'all are worrying me thin that angel would feel some type of way feeling like may, maybe malaysia trying to be funny maybe malaysia trying to start some shit or set her up or whatever i can understand that part oh and she could maybe even feel the same way about this girl maybe feeling like the girl coming on her for camera time to embarrass her i can understand that part of it that part so um the then British cuts in and asks Ashley, um, did she date Tyreek when he was with Angel? And the girl was like, no, I dated him after her. So I'm like, okay, so she dated him after you. So what? what's the big whoop here? I, I'm not understanding, like, why you feeling uncomfortable being around this girl? She didn't fuck your nigga at the same time you was with him. Like, what's going on? Like, huh? Like, that's why I'm like, what is all the animosity for? I'm not understanding this. I'm really not. She just told you I ain't got no problems with you. I wasn't fucking him while he was with you. So what is the problem? Then British get to call in Malaysia messy and saying that she keep on bringing people around that people don't get along with. And they flash back to when she brought Zell around. And I'm like, little do they know that Brandy was hitting up Zell trying to kick it with him. So it's just like, it's just a bunch of mess at this point. And British can have her feelings, but I felt like she was doing team too much. Cause like this ain't even had nothing to do with you. Thunder thighs, nothing to do with you at all. So British is like, she didn't know Brandy. Um, no, I'm sorry. Malaysia was like, you know, I didn't know. I just found out about this. British was like, she ain't know Brandy daddy died. She ain't know Zell and Malaysia. I mean, Zell and Brandy didn't get along. And so at this point, um, Malaysia has had enough so she gets up to leave so things will not continue to escalate she like I'm not about to be these folks puncture back I didn't do nothing wrong ain't nobody gonna allow me to speak fuck that so Brandy was like why are you walking away and she was like because <laughs> I need to I need to walk away but Malaysia ends up coming back and sitting down so Brandy was like you gotta stop walking away walking away makes it bigger than what it is and Malaysia then goes on the stress that she just found out and I'm like if y'all listening to this girl she telling you she just found out she didn't fucking know so why wouldn't y'all then give her grace why does why does people have an attitude at this point especially you British so British is like how do you expect us to be cool with you when you doing this shit and Malaysia's like you don't have to be cool with me and she was like I don't I won't because you messy and uh then Brandy come cutting in so I'm just gonna let y'all know now if y'all bring a bitch around that used to date Jason it's a problem on site so Malaysia looking at her like really Brandy like I thought we was moving on like what 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 type of time is you on like really bitch and I understood where Malaysia was coming from it's like damn bitch like regardless of where we at in our friendship like really you gonna try to make the situation worse and try to like convey like I really was on some messy shit and then I'm looking at Brandy like girl what you talking about if somebody bring one of the hoes Jason used to date around Jason could have date every dated everybody in LA bitch so <laughs> you might be sitting next to a hoe right now as many women as he fucked around on you with that could be anybody, bitch. You can't walk out your house if that's the case. You sound a dummy. And I wish somebody would tell her about herself. So then at this point, Malaysia walks off again. And I'm like, girl, yeah, just walk away because these hoes are silly and they stupid. So British 
um, as she's walking away, says she gonna walk away because she knows she full of shit. Malaysia had it at that point, baby. Malaysia turned around real quick and was like, first off, you don't know me. And British standoff was like, you don't know me. And they in each other's faces. And Malaysia's like, you know what? Come on, sit down, sit down. And so she was like, look, you don't know me. So just stop talking about me. And she gets up to leave again. And British was like, you, you a weird ass bitch. And Brandy stupid for even talking to you. And Brandy like, damn, bitch, really? She was like, yeah, she a weird ass bitch. And I'm like... Girl, you still tripping off some shit that happened 10 years ago because they show a flashback to British first season when she felt like Malaysia wasn't trying to give her the time of day. So you still harboring on some shit that happened years ago. Why do you care whether or not a bitch want to get to know you? Fuck her if she don't want to get to know you. Because other than that, what do you have? What reason do you have to come at Malaysia that way when you don't even know the story, the tea, nothing? And I just felt like she was doing too much. Angel is a grown-ass woman that know how to defend herself. Don't nobody got to stick up for her like she a five-year-old. Like, stop it. Oh, overall, I give this episode um a B minus because like can we be a rational think rational thinkers in this group of women like really and then I'm like British you got bigger things to worry about because I still don't understand why you kept on bringing your thieving ass allegedly on television knowing you was out here allegedly doing the things that you were doing like make it make sense like oh girl Anywho, let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. Um, once again, do you all think Malaysia knew and was trying to be funny? Or do you think that she genuinely did not know? What did you think about Brandy's reaction? And let me know what you guys felt about British's reaction as well. Let's talk down below in the comments section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.